welcome to day 11 of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas and today we are making a button book so cute so here we have two button cards attached to this little book um, you can stick this in a journal and it would make a super cute gift just by itself <clears throat> Super cute. Buttons are probably one of my favorite things. <laughs> so I love this little idea. Okay, what you're going to need is, and I would recommend a double-sided double -sided piece of paper for this. You're going to need a double-sided paper cut to the width of six, six and seven eighths, the height four and a quarter, and you're gonna score it at three and a quarter and then turn it and score it at three and a quarter. So the width is six and seven eighths. I'm sure if you just went all the way to seven, this would be just fine. Um, but this one is actually six and seven eighths. The height is four and a quarter and then I scored it at three and a fourth, turned it and scored it again. And that's just to give um, the buttons on the inside just a little place to go. All right, <coughs> excuse me. The button cards I um, purchased from Calico Collage and I will put the link below. Uh, she has a bunch, there's like, here, let me show you. Six to a page. So you can tell the ones that I've cut out. Super cute. And again, I recommend a two-sided piece of paper for this. Um, this is just cardstock. So if you wanted something heavier for your cover, you could do it on a double up your cardstock, but I felt like this was okay. Okay, so I'm scored, I'm cut. Um, the other thing I wanna do is distress my edges, add a little ink to my edges. I've already done that to the actual button cards. There we go. And then, all right, so that's kind of how it goes. I'm going to set that aside and I'm gonna take out my book that I use to punch holes in my um, journals. And I've already selected some buttons. I'm gonna do three pink ones on this one, on this card, and then three yellow ones on the other card. And I kinda of want, <clears throat> this is a little different because of the types of holes but I kind of want to punch three holes in the button, whoops, button card. One, you could measure, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, and three. Okay, and then I might as well do the same on this one. One, two, three. Set that aside. And then you're gonna need some string, or uh, thread, sorry, thread and a needle. And scissors to cut. And you're gonna need a knot at the end. So you wanna wrap it around your finger. <laughs> yep, wrap it around your finger, there we go. A few times and then roll it off. And then pull through. So you want a big enough knot. Oh my gosh. Let's try that again. Wrap, roll. Oh, 
and pull. All right. So you want a big knot at the end so that it does not go through your card. Probably the hardest part, right? Threading the needle. Start at the back of your card. And then I'm just gonna go Huh, yeah, Kara, you needed two holes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ready now. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling. So then you're just going to pull this through several times until you feel it's pretty secure. And then tie a knot. On the back, cut it off. And then I like to make double sure that it's going to stay and I'm just going to add a piece of tape right there. And then I'm going to do that four more times. I will be right back. Okie doke. We have all of our buttons sewn on, tape added, and now let's add some eyelets to the book. <clears throat> so I have my crocodile. I'm going to use, oh, I don't know which it is, but the bigger one because um, they match the size of my eyelets. I think I'll use white again. You can measure, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Not bad. Pretty good. May not be perfectly centered, but I think it's gonna be okay. There we go. And then I have some more of the sorry silk ribbon. I'm just going to use the rest of this. You can use any kind of ribbon you have. I'm not going to, usually I would tie a knot if it was um, for a journal, but instead to avoid some bulk, I'm actually going to tape this down so that it's nice and flat. So you just need a little bit poking out. 
All right, and then the one thing <clears throat> that I'm gonna do differently in this one than I did in my first one, I'm gonna raise up the button cards. Because let me show you. It looks fine. Um, for this one, I just use my tape runner. But right here where there is this um, eyelet, it sticks up a little bit. So I think just to avoid that, I'm just gonna raise it with some double-sided tape with the um, 3M tape, sorry. I'm gonna put that to the back of my button card. If you do not have this tape, it's fine, um, like I did with the first one. It still looks okay. Just to kind of give you an option. some book page behind it, that would be cute too. Possibilities are endless. A little tricky with the buttons on the other, <laughs> other side. Let me show you. See? It's coming loose. I think off camera I'll have to tighten it up a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to make a bow. Maybe. Maybe make a bow. And there we go. So fun. Super cute. So that is one thing to consider. So these are laying in the same place. Maybe you want one where the buttons are down here and then in the other card they're up here so that when you close them they're not touching. Um, something to consider when you make yours. You could also add a piece of felt in there for the person you're giving it to so that they don't rub. That would also work. All right, and there we go. Day 11, button books. I think they turned out pretty cute. It's like just like a little mini journal. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, also, I'll have the link for the button cards in the description and we have one more day after this. Can you believe it? Crazy. All right. Hopefully you've had all your shopping and your baking as well on the way. All that good stuff. All right. Have a great rest of your 11th day. Bye-bye.